Hello everyone, my name is Philip Beedling. Um, just to give you a bit of background, I'm the enterprise architect at a company called Quantile Technologies. Uh, I've been using Emacs certainly for the last four or five years as part of my day-to-day -day workflow, um, but I've used it on and off for the last 20 years, uh, depending on the, the, the jobs or the task at hand. Uh, now today I'm here in a personal capacity to talk about a a use I had for Emacs last year, where I had to uh, record my continuous professional development. Um, I was required to be audited by my professional body on it. Uh, now, my, my, my CPD record is a bit of a mess, or certainly was. Um, it was over various different services and systems that had been provided to me by uh, previous employers. And, um, uh, and I had bits of it in Excel spreadsheets and I was looking for like a one single golden source where I could store it all and use in the future. So um, I had a look online, I didn't find anything I liked, so I decided I would use Emacs. And I quickly came to the conclusion that using uh, org mode was a nice fit for this, you know, both the to-do lists and the properties um, seemed to fit nicely with building a very basic database, which is what in effect this is what this is. Uh, so, without further ado, I will um, start by uh, just um, downloading. So, this is available on my public Git handle is uh, Fallout Phil, and it's under a project called MISC. It's just a single file called org.cpd.org. Um, uh, I can stick that in the chat when we actually do this live um, so that people will have a link to it. So, I'll, I'll start this up. Okay, so to start with, I am just going to close down uh, various list stuff and just give you a demo of how it actually works. So let's scroll up here. Okay, so basically to make this work, the way I subdivide it is that I would have professional goals and professional goals would be made up of activities and each of those activities would contribute to the goal. Um, so in order to represent this, this is just a nested to-do list uh, in, uh, in Emacs org mode. Um, I, I sort of change things like the, um, the naming to pending um, in progress and complete rather than to do done because that's more like what my professional body likes to categorize things, but essentially it's the same thing. So I've got a, um, um, uh, an org capture template or two org capture templates in order to, 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 to grab this information and then stick it in the to-do list and also tab tabulate using column view. So I'll start off just by showing you um, an example here. So what I'm going to do is create a new goal and then under it I will create a couple of activities relevant to that goal. So for the goal I'm going to have let's say um, something relevant so improve public speaking um, and then I'm going to say well the type of that goal is well it's a presentation I suppose. Um, the outcome of that goal is, well, I don't want to go into too much detail here, but it would be, uh, uh, you know, get, get feedback from colleagues and so forth. I won't fill it in completely um, about what the goal was. Now, the retrospective value, uh, my understanding is that you fill that in afterwards. So you want to talk after completing the action. So it, this is not relevant for today. I'm just going to leave it blank, um, although I'm sure you can imagine I could say, having completed this action, I felt that blah, 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 and so forth. Okay, so I will add that and then you will see that I, I now have a new goal, both in my column view and in my to-do list. And just to make it a, you know, a little bit realistic, I'm going to then add two activities to that. So when I come into add an activity, I have to select a goal. I'm going to select um, improve public speaking. Um, yeah. Um, so um, the activity I'm going to say is, well, let's say speak at Emacs Conf 2021. Um, that um, we can use a type of presentation. Uh, outcome of that is, well, stating the obvious, but present on an Emacs uh, idea, right? Something along the lines of that. And then retrospective, again, I'm not going to fill that in at the moment. Um, and then we will then... Um, so that, and then last but not least, I will come up with a slightly different activity. Um, so again, selecting improved public speaking, the activity would be uh, watch lecture series on public speaking, um, you know, blah, 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 so forth. Um, type value would be lecture for this. Outcome would maybe be use um, new knowledge in Emacs Conf presentation, right? Might be a good one there. 
Uh, again, retrospective value, I'm just going to leave that blank and I'm going to save that like so. Okay, so now we're in a position where we've got a goal and two activities which are represented here. You can see here that I can move an activity, cycle it forward to in progress. When I do that, I get a starter timestamp here. Um, if I then cycle it again, I get the more familiar closed um, timestamp here. The starter timestamp is, is a bit of custom code. I'll show you that in a moment. And then um, likewise, let's say that um, we'll move this one from pending to started. Okay. Um, now, if I save the document, that will trigger the updating of the uh, column view. Uh, you, you can see now that we have the, the, the very started and completed statuses up to date. Okay, so that's pretty much, you can imagine that we could add lots of goals and lots of activities and this would grow into a, you know, several sheets worth of, um, of, of, of work. Um, and then last but not least, I show is obviously the most important thing is how do you submit it? Well, we could just use um, the standard export facility in org mode for doing that. So that's just control C, control E, uh, L, O, and yeah, and then we should be, uh, and there you, you can see there you've got the, the, the goals and activities. Um, I spent a bit of time, I won't go too much into LaTeX formatting, but coming up with something that I felt um, got as much information compactly on a page without making it um, difficult to read, shall we say. And it's, it's always a finely balanced thing. I'm not saying I'm an expert at it, but, uh, but I, I thought what I came up with here was, was reasonably clear, um, but allowed you to write enough information that, you know, the, the, the goals and activities were reasonably well um, explained. Okay, so we could just kill that. Okay, so how does all of that work? Well, um, underneath this config tab here, we have a, a bunch of lists that I'm going to sort of fly through here. You can ask me any questions afterwards. Um, first thing is we have the all capture templates, which are here. Um, the goal one is not doing anything special. It's just writing it back to this file. Um, so there is a limitation there that um, you must have this file open when you add them, which is something I'd like to improve in future. For the activities, um, it specifies the file, but it also specifies this function set activity pause from goal, which above here, what this does is it uh, iterates through the various org entries looking for um, goals and um, once it has um, a list of goals, it presents them to you using IDO completing read so that you can select the goal that you want the activity to live underneath. And it then searches forward and it finds the appropriate spot in that goal that um, the EMAS can then dump the uh, captured activity. Um, okay, the next one is pretty straightforward uh, because I changed the names of the to do done. Um, I now need a new way of aggregating the complete the, the summary completion statuses. So for this, I'm just looking at the number of completed um, activities over the total number of activities. And I make that available under uh, C plus um, here, which we will see um, when I go and show you the sort of the, the, the top configuration in the uh, org document in two minutes. Um, I mentioned that we needed to have our own start date. The way this works is we add a hook to uh, org after to do state change hook, which means that we, we test the, um, the state change results in um, one of the items being in progress. And if that's true and it already doesn't have a timestamp, then it creates a timestamp with the, the current time and date. Um, the second hook here is just ensuring that when we save the document, that the column view is dynamically updated so that everything is up to date. And then uh, last but not least here, um, the time F, uh, sorry, temp F timestamp. What this does is on the export is it modifies the timestamps so that it removes the angle brackets and it removes the hours and minutes to, to, as a space saving thing and a tidiness thing in the PDF. Uh, I'll show you in a second how that's used. Um, we, we then allow bind keywords, we use them above. Um, and then we just have a simple key that allows us to uh, uh, um, a hot key for all capture. And then at the start, when we when we, we evaluate the start of block that I have list, just so it's already there and set the number of uh, sub levels to one. So only the top levels exist. Okay, so coming back up to the top, um, to put that all back together again, uh, the startup just tells you that we want us, you want log, log times, the title, author, description, and they should be obvious, right? That's just text for the PDF. Options, we disable the table of, uh, table of contents. We do not want that. 
Now, the output config here, the first two are resulting in the, the timestamp formats. So that was the temp f timestamp function I showed you below. Um, we got a bit of latex stuff here, just saying that we want a landscape and we want to use A4 paper size. And then the columns here, what we want is just to rename the properties to something which just look a little bit nicer in a table so you can see that um, uh, goals, activities, status completed, and so forth. Um, and then last but not least, on the um, on the actual thing, we use a long table in latex, and we align, so we specify very exactly that we want five centimeters for the first and last two columns, and that we want uh, all the other columns to use the remaining space. And that's it. Um, appreciate that I've absolutely uh, well winded through that. Um, but please do feel free to uh, ask me any questions um, or speak to me um, offline. Thank you very much.